Hello guys, I'm bringing you today a video a video tour of my home server. And let me say first that I am getting a gigabit switch by Trendnet. The model number I believe is SG24G. I believe that's the model number. And it's a 24 port gigabit switch. And that should be arriving very soon. So let's get started. All right, up here, we our first one, we have the modem. It's an ADSL 2 Plus modem. It is uh, by Netgear, and the model number is 7550. And it is USB, has a USB port, and it is Wi-Fi enabled. It has, it has N, wireless N. And the max speed it can go out, which is 300 megabits per second, but that is full of baloney because I never got that high before. Alright, next up we have my Western Digital MyBook Live 1 terabyte. It is an iCloud drive, so I can view it from my phone and where I am at. And that is a gigabit. And my switches right now are 10100, which does suck because this one is a gigabit per second, so it's kind of slow when I'm on my home server so I want to get a faster one and right here is a UPS by Triplight I got this at Yardsville for three bucks great deal and sorry about the shakiness I am on the floor because this is my server is right underneath my desk so I do apologize for the shakiness I'll try to be good about it though alright right here is my cooler fan because everything does get quite hot and it is by Coolatron, and it is AC powered. There is the power cord right there, and it is a great fan. It is all metal design, so I highly suggest you don't stick your finger in there because I've already have, and it does take off a chunk of your skin. So it is a high powered fan, and it works great. So, all right, and I have three power strips. So those are it. I'll get on to my switches. Actually, sorry. Let me do this first. The first, um, this is my guest network. Well, wireless network. It is a Linksys WRT54G model. It's by Cisco. I have like five of these, so I might sell some on eBay. All right, let's get to the switches I have. Well, soon to be on eBay switches. <laughs> this is a D-Link. DES1105 switch. I have four of these that I'm currently using, so it'll be nice to get some space back with the 24 port switch. So let me get started on what is connected to this right now. So, right here, this is the line into the modem. This one goes to my um, Xbox 360. This gray one right here, the first gray one goes to the Wii. It is, the Wii does not have a, uh, the, uh, an Ethernet port, sorry about that guys. It, so we're using a USB to, um, Ethernet, and it is a 10100 by Trendnet, and it works great. This one goes to our dish hopper. This is a Cat6 cable, most of these are Cat5e though. This one is, goes to my Apple TV. Back there, that one is not turned on, but that blue one right there is a line in. Let's swing over here. That blue one that I just showed you that's not turned on is this first one right here, closest to you. This one goes to the Linksys router. This black one goes to this really cool ex extender thing that is on top of my desk, that gray thing up there. That, so, it, and my, when I'm working on a computer up on my desk so I don't have to run a cable down here to get internet so that's really handy okay that was the black one and then that last blue one is the line in that baby blue one goes to my macbook pro that yellow one goes to my hp office jet 8600 printer and that green one goes to my dell uh, latitude d600 i believe that's what the name of a uh, Laptop, that one back there, the clear RJ45 cable, it is right there 
it's hard to see. Sorry about that. That one goes to this gateway right here. I do not know the model number of this gateway. It has a Pentium 4 in it, so it's kind of slow for today's model. I'm thinking about upgrading. And that last one is the blue one, which is line in. And I am going to put another shelf in here. And so the switches are actually in the front on the switch that I'm getting. Sorry, the ports are in the front of the switch that I'm getting. So I'm going to run the cables up on a shelf. I brought a shelf in. I'm going to place it up top here. And I'm going to bring the cables forward, plug them in, and zip tie them all. So it'll be a lot easier to access them. <laughs> That's for sure. And I'm thinking about wiring a house with Ethernet. But here's the problem. We have our telephone lines are cat 5e cable but we use them as telephone but we do not have a telephone but we use it for the modem because it's dsl and so i was thinking using a power line so connecting it to the outlet and bringing it upstairs to the master bedroom which is where the box is that we keep all that is like the central command that has all the coax cables the the internet cables and all that stuff and so i was thinking just keeping the main line from the from the box outside, the ISP box, and the having the one down here connected to that one. And so I put a switch in there and connect the rest of the house with that switch. I'm going to use probably one of these switches, and the whole house would be wired. I would place the, I'd place the keystone, sorry guys, the keystones where the telephone wall plates are so yeah all right guys thank you for watching i hope you enjoy this video see you later